The EO Triceratops is being reworked. Well, technically, it's a mod. However, this is one of the most substantial reworks coming to the game. So, let's talk about it. Firstly, of course, this is mod news, and we're starting off with something completely different. This is House Caraptor, made by the Divine Beast modding team, and they have teased this upcoming creature for their roster. This is one that we have seen before, but it was untextured. Now we get to see the full textured model for it. So, this is House Caraptor, the little tiny duck dinosaur. This dinosaur is a genus of Dromaeosaurid dinosaur, so it lives in the same family as that of Velociraptor. However, this dinosaur comes from the Cretaceous of Mongolia and it's more likely that of a goose than it is a velociraptor if anything or a waterfowl as most people say. This is a creature that has been found to have a semi-aquatic lifestyle and so when it comes to Path of Titans it's very likely this will be one of the first semi-aquatic herbivores to come to the game. A little swan even. Here's the model shown by the Divine Beast team and this thing looks absolutely adorable. The Divine Beast team I've done really well with bringing this creature to life and I gotta say it looks great. Raptor, however is going to be quite a way away from its actual development or release because there are quite a few creatures in line before this one and also if you want to know about the size of this creature before I get into what creatures are next this thing is the same size if not roughly a little bit taller than that of the Compi mod which is also made by the Divine Beast team so this thing is going to be tiny and quite hard to catch however keep your horses at bay because this is not going to be in the game for a while there are four mods that need to be brought to the game first and finished by the Divine Beast team before this one is even released that is the Acrocanthosaurus rework for their Acrocanthosaurus mod the Killer Whale and Mortaborosaurus so that's what we have to worry about before we even get to see House Caraptor in the game. We probably won't even see it for quite a while. I talked about this in the intro. This is the EO Triceratops rework by the Wrath of Goliath's team. In fact, this is a mod that is very, very close to release. If you look at the Wrath of Goliath's team Trello board, it's highly likely that this mod is next. It's complete. It's at 17 out of 17 tasks done. So, what do we know about this EO Tri Cree work? Well, apart from all the incredible photos that were showcased by the team of the Wrath of Goliaths folks, there's a lot. It looks great. The texturing is incredible. There is something else, and I want to talk about the subspecies, because while I'm playing this video, while I'm talking about the subspecies, there'll be something that I'm mentioning or showing on the screen. Have you noticed it yet? Well, let's say it's that each subspecies has its own textures which is huge and when i say huge this is the first time any mod or official creature has ever done this in path of titans this is the first time and this breaks a whole like boundary to the game because i don't think anyone was wanting to do this or aiming to do this in the past even the developers were quite hesitant to do this and now Phalong and the wrath of goliath's team have done it this rework is impressive. The model rework is even more impressive, however. It is absolutely incredible. It's so well detailed and so well put together. It's quite literally the EO Triceratops we had dreamed of for Path of Titans. And this rework is something that I dream of from an official rework. And I'd hope it looks like this in the game. If we ever got an official rework for EO Trike, this would be an incredible way to introduce it. Additionally, that being said, we do get some further differentials from the official EO Triceratops, and that is that the calls are different. The calls have been reworked as well. I'm going to play both the EO Trike calls, in the official ones, and the EO Trike reworks calls, so you can see how different they are. Take a listen. Let me know which one you like best.
Presto Sucus is an upcoming Wrath of Goliaths mod once again, which introduced an incredible beast, of course, Presto Sucus. So, what is this creature? This is no dinosaur. Presto Sucus is a large extinct genus of Pseudosuchian, which sits in the group of Loricata alongside that of Sorosuchus and Postosuchus. This creature hails from around the city of Sao Pedro de Sul in Brazil, coming from the Santa Maria Formation. This is when the holotype was discovered, which was originally called Roysuchus tiradentis, which was named in 1938 by Von Hume in honor of Vicentino Prestes de Almeida, who was a Brazilian paleontologist. And I'm sorry, I definitely probably butchered that name. So this is something being developed by the Wrath of Goliath team. It won't be out for a while. If you look at the Trello pod, it's at right at the back. However, that being said, they've completely remade the model. This is a rework to the model and it looks really, really cool. And it's now on the screen for you to look at. An incredibly well-made creature, something that I cannot wait for. Love creatures like this. I really like Roisuchians, like that Sorosuchus, Postosuchus, and now Prestosuchus, which is an awesome creature. The Ancient Gods Creations mod team are known for their Chimerasaurus mod and their upcoming Borealopelter, which has a funny ability that allows it to lick dinosaurs to heal them. But there is something else they're bringing to the game which I covered before, back when it didn't have any textures or that much to it. This is another Rex, and I'm sure most of you guessed that by now. This is the Ancient Gods Collection Rex. And this is something I was truthfully skeptical of first because we have so many Rexes in the game. We have the Primordial Tyrants Rex, we have the base game Rex, and we have more Rexes coming through different mod teams. There's a lot of upcoming Tyrannosaurus Rex mods for this game. And so I was surprised to see this was getting a Rex. And honestly, now that I've seen it, I'm a big fan because this thing looks absolutely incredible. This is a dinosaur model. I mean, if a dinosaur model could be sexy, this is the one to call. The detail on this is absolutely insane. It genuinely looks like the Rex depictions in the media and comparing it to the official Rex in the game, this is leaps and bounds better. The difference is night and day. Although this is far away from release as it's likely the next one from the Ancient Gods creation is Borealopelter. It's probably going to be heating up in development after that, but for now we get to see the model and everything. We also get an animation for it, and I love the animation on this one. This geezer basically has jiggle physics, however, because have you seen the way it's bouncing up and down? This thing looks like a space hopper. And there we have it, everybody. That's all the mods coming to Path of Times or some mod news. Not all the mods coming to Path of Times, there's lots. However, we're back with mod news, and I'm sure a lot of you had high demand for this. Hopefully, that scratched your itch. Some big behemoths in this one, with the Eotrike rework and the Ancient Gods Collection Rex, and also some lesser-known creatures like House Caraptor and Presto Sucus. If you want to check out another video, check out my opinion piece, which is on game modes and path of times and why I think they'll revolutionise the game. Other than that, hope you enjoyed, I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.